you have the same dinner two nights in a row. The first night, your glucose curve looks great. It goes up, comes down in two hours, stays in range, fine. The second night, you have the exact same dinner, but this one goes higher and stays higher way longer. What gives? So we already did this with lunch, but this is special with dinner because there's a circadian rhythm to your glucose control. Did you know that? So if you have the same food at 6 p.m., but another day you have it at 9 p.m. and you go to bed at 10 or 11, yeah, you bet. You're going to have better glucose tolerance if you have your meal at 6 p.m. earlier than you do at 9 for a few different reasons. One is the natural circadian rhythm of your glucose tolerance. The other is if you go to bed right afterwards, you're going to lose that activity. Even being up and around your kitchen, putting your dishes away, or taking your dog out to pee, that's helping you lock away some of that glucose into your muscles. But when you lay down and go to sleep, it doesn't. And in fact, not only will your glucose stay higher, it might actually spike after you go to sleep. So these are the different nuances um, in interpreting your continuous glucose monitor data. And you will read all about it in my upcoming book, Hack Your Blood Sugar.